All right, let's go over some of those improv suggestions I was talking about last night. See what I can remember. Uh, found a backing track that works really well with the A harmonic minor uh, scale shapes that you got last night. It's very um, yeah, it's basically a flamenco track, but so far the the more rock or metal based ones, like I didn't like the way any of them were. So this one, which I'm going to demonstrate stuff to. Sounds a lot better to me. So you're always welcome to look up any other backing tracks that you want. Um, this is going to be based in E Phrygian dominant, but that is you know, again one of those modes in A or minor, minor. So anyway, so some stuff that I had suggested is confine yourself to one or two strings. So like when you start piecing these scales together. Stay in like the E and the B string. And for now, minimize pick motion as much as you can. I utilize a lot of legato. In fact, you know what? Let me just put that down. Let me just use the thumb for right now. Uh, and of course, you can just confine yourself to one string. Like maybe you want to work on the G string. Whoops! You're gonna make mistakes while doing improv. And then another suggestion was like two not obvious strings, like the G and the E string. The other suggestion was like changing strings every time you pick. So that one could be a little bit tricky, but um, you want to rely on you know arpeggio shapes. Another suggestion was do like three notes on one string and then one note on another. Um, let's see. Yeah, stuff like that would uh, be something helpful. Um, phrasing, that's another thing you could do. Like, think of it, um, like maybe do like a group of three notes, two notes, and then four notes. So like a three, two, four kind of thing. So I mean, like, just go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh god, that was the wrong, wrong notes. So yeah, three, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So stuff like that. So like, give yourself those kinds of parameters and that can force you out of your comfort zone. And the other thing was 
if you really want to avoid playing the same thing over and over again, well, you just that stuff's not allowed then. So make that a point. Like, just refrain from playing things that you normally play. So this way you have nothing to fall back on anymore. And that will force you to be more creative. So I put together more on the guitar profile from yesterday, which you may have already looked at. Just basically add an E harmonic minor and D harmonic minor, which is basically what we've been working with in terms of our usual three keys. So A minor, E minor, and D minor. But we had been looking at it from the major perspective as C major, G major, and F major. So got the notes up there. Yes, D harmonic minor does have a flat and a sharp in it. So as you get your D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C sharp. So have you kind of fill out those chord shapes as, uh, just like you did before. So you have like the same deal where you'll have minor, diminished, augmented, minor, major, major, diminished, and yeah, just input that stuff, see what you come up with. If any questions come up, let me know. Uh, I hope your fingers start feeling better soon. But yeah, just minimize it as much as you can. Um, use it as little as possible. If you're going to pick stuff, try using your thumb. Really rely on legato stuff right now. And just get that finger out of it. Just leave the pick alone for a while until all the pain is gone. And then start being very careful with it. Cause like I said, I was like at least a week out of commission for the most part. I mean, I still had to teach things, but I had like a wrist brace on and kept icing it. And so that's one reason why, you know, I use these things now to train my extensor muscles, you know, opening the, the hand and whatnot and working the back side of the arm instead of the inside. The inside gets worked all, all the time with all the fretting and whatnot. So, yep, preventative maintenance. It's uh, kind of crazy how we can get so severely injured just by playing guitar or typing or using a mouse and clicking all the time. It's ridiculous. But that's how it is. Get injured just by making tiny little motions. Oh well. Yeah, hopefully you get good news from the doctor. And uh, hopefully you've caught it in time to prevent any further wear and tear. So, Alright, let me know if any questions come up and I'll see you next week.